there are no hiccups and it'll just you know turn out just fine as I think it is turning out to be um, excellent connection but I see a black box that's not good up oh, here we go we're loading bum, 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 bum. yeah okay it looks like it's working they're all just you know it sounds like poop it's probably because of this stupid uh MacBook fan. Yeah, I don't know if I can show. I can somehow show, but like this is my jank setup. I don't know if I, I can't tilt down without messing up. It's just my MacBook right in front of me. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's really not the greatest setup. It is a um, it's a conglomeration of, of of many different things, including a dusty microphone. <laughs> um. I don't have, you know, my PC anymore, so that was a lot easier to live stream on. It looks like it might be 13 frames a second. Come on, MacBook. Oh, what's up, Geo? Thanks, buddy. Hey, Quan. Hey, uh, um, little man. Um, I have, uh, NHL 20 now, an Xbox, so... Ah, crap, this thing is all messed up. That, that text bar is so much bigger. Hold on. That looks a little better. Let me fix it. There. Um, yeah, this MacBook sucks. I don't know why it's at 23 frames a second. That's terrible. Oh, well, it is what it is. Um, um, little cousin. Um, I got NHL 20. What's up, Giordano? Hey, Connor, I'm all right. How about you? Um, hey, Joe. Uh, little man, I got NHL 20. So if you have World Shell or clubs, you want to play clubs, I don't know how late your, your dad allows you to stay up, but, um, you can play with, uh, me and my buddy. And, uh, yeah, I got Xbox and I got, um, NHL 20, so might get NHL 21, but if you want to play online, buddy, let me know. We're going to play NHL 3s. But, yeah, so, uh, what's up, everyone? Um, we are at a better 30-ish frames a second now, so that's a little better. Let me see if I can somehow change. I don't think I can. Let me turn that off. Yeah, I don't know what's up, but it's just a, it's just a slow MacBook. So I apologize for the crappiness of this crappy. Hey, Mackenzie, what's up, girl? All right, so uh, let's talk about uh, what I have in store today. Last WWE unboxing live, possibly. Um, man, I'm I'm so freaking bright. Let me see if I can change this down. Uh, game time. What is that? I don't know. Screw it. It's a MacBook. So. Um, yeah, possibly last WWE Unboxing Live. This is the ring I have for our test subject for all the action features. But, um, yeah, I sold all the six-inch stuff, uh, Mattel um, WWE. I have actually right here. Oh, no. What? Okay, I thought something fell. I have the uh, Undertaker, Hasbro. Um, it's new on card. A little damage. Got the, the uh, figure protector for it for like six bucks, but you know, this is like a hundred fifty dollar figure I got uh, for cheap. I sold off my Mattel six inch or you know, six and a half, seven technically inch Undertaker Paul Bear. And I got that as a replacement because that's the stuff I had when I was a kid. Man, this frames per second sucks. Why are you screwing me over, a MacBook? But anyway, you're here. We're having a fun time, hopefully. <laughs> uh, sold off all the Mattel. Uh, six inch, six and a half, seven inch WWE figures went completely retro, Mattel and Hasbro. So what I did was with that money, bought a bunch. And the list is here down below in the description. A bunch of Hasbro stuff. So I'm gonna unbox it, including two new um, Mattel guys. So I have Shinsuke, and then I have Daniel Bryan. So I obviously had to get you know the indie darlings or whatever, um, Japan legend of course as well. But uh, yeah, it's a bit laggy. I'm sorry. Love the show. Thanks. Yeah, laggy as hell. Yeah. Oh no. It says it says, YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain uh, smooth streaming. As such, viewers will. I can't read this. YouTube sucks. Uh, will experience buffering. Oh dang. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. This. I. I'm. It says. It says stream status poor. Just like myself. Even though. Uh, <laughs> it says here OBS is it's green and it's putting out three thousand. Uh, kilobytes a second. It's using up half, like 53.4% of my CPU, 23.9 frames a second. That's terrible. 
should be at least 29. I'm sorry guys, I'm, I don't have a great computer and it's not um, streaming that well, but yeah, uh, am I going to be watching SummerSlam? Probably not. Are you going to be watching SummerSlam and Kenzie? I haven't watched WWE since, like, frickin', um, I think WrestleMania. I did see a little bit of AEW. I saw, I think, the Moxley championship match for something after he, uh, was fine with COVID. But, uh, ah, uh, poor stream status. This pisses me off. Thanks, YouTube. Thanks, uh, MacBook. I love being rich. Um, yeah, anyways, let's get into this, uh. This unboxing stuff, as it's still freaking laggy, it looks like. That blows. But anyway, hopefully it's okay. Daniel Bryan, 25 frames a second. <laughs> I'm sure it's loud because the fans. And then there's the back of it. Pretty cool. I wish it had more on the front. Like that Undertaker had, like, instead of the stupid mayhem thing, um, it had, like, Tombstone Tackle. And it's, you know, it said World Wrestling Federation. You know, that could say, like, World Wrestling Entertainment, but I guess Vince McMahon doesn't like the, um, uh, world wrestling, but yay! Uh, you're reading questions later. I can read them now too. But I make my own version of Jurassic World based on Chaos Effect. I mean, I probably do a video on the films, but not now. Maybe in next year. Um, yeah, man, this stinks. Oh well, it is what it is. 16 frames a second. Brutal. Is it? There's nothing I can do. Like get get out of that's graphically extensive like I don't have like um, final cut rendering anything <laughs> but uh yeah so I will unbox I guess Daniel Bryan first because I showed off the cover I'll try to be careful and all that blah 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 um my what does I say am I using an old computer I, I know this is a 2019 MacBook I actually got it um brand new I got a, a 2018, I sold my, I had a 2014 MacBook, hopefully this isn't lagging, you can still hear me. I had a 2014 MacBook, which is the one I showed off in that update video. Um, here's the guy, and here's the stand. And that one was not good enough to, apparently this one isn't good enough either. <laughs> um, to, to video edit on, this one's better to video edit on, but... Um, Obviously, I guess streaming on sucks, but it was. I bought a 2018 used MacBook off of eBay, and uh, and ended up like being so screwy that Apple just replaced it for free for me because the person I bought it from on eBay got it replaced, and within that one year I had a warranty. And they ended up just replacing the whole thing because it was logic board based. You know anything about computers? Um, logic boards are expensive. They're at least like 700, 800 dollars. So, um, yay, 15 frames a second. Anyway, so Daniel Bryan. Looks pretty good, good looking figure. I absolutely do not like that it's a jumper and you use the arm, like the Finn Balor one I've shown off uh, previously. Kind of sucks. But uh, pretty good likeliness. I don't know if that will come in focus or not at uh, 19 frames a second. But there it is. That's, I mean, the last unboxing I can do. Brutal. Um, comes with a stand. If you want the little code, blah, blah, there it is. All laggy and everything. You can put them on the stand. This is kind of stupid. Whoever designed this. So they put the peg on. Well, obviously not keeping the stand. But they put the peg on. Let me figure out the way. You see? Move this way. Like, he doesn't stand in the middle. He stands, like, on the, the side there. That is dumb. But anyway. Um, yeah, you move it down. We'll demo him here after we're all finished. I'll tilt the camera down. Show off all the figs. Um, just put you to the side for now. But Batman went full emo. Yeah, New Justice League is gonna be pretty sick. So DC, looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Should be a fun time. Unlike this poor, poor stream status. But hey, maybe my friend Albert will just be listening to it on the car ride instead of watching it because. Oh my gosh, this one's hard to open. Oh, I didn't even show off. Oh, shoot. <laughs> didn't even show off the, uh, the the packaging. So, yeah. Close up of the packaging. Pretty cool. If you're a Shinsuke fan. King Shasa. Yeah, pretty dope. Um, now it's a bit better. That's good. Hello, Velocilot. It still says poor, which freaking blows. I don't know. This is not very easy to open for some damn reason. 
Oh my gosh, this is brutal. Why is this? This is like taped on there, like the the card came loose. Great job, ringside. Oh, there goes a little piece. I don't know if it focused or not. General Kenobi. It must be an inside joke. I don't or something. Oh, that's, that sucks. Whatever. Anyways, we got our guy out. Stan says strong. I'm gonna go back here. Bam. Uh, stand says strong style. Hopefully it's in focus. Whatever. There's the code. Bam. And then uh, there's our guy. So looks pretty good. Looks like a really uh, uh, cartoony retro uh, uh, scale or retro style. Hasbro style figure. So I think I'll stand. Okay, that's cool. Alright, we will do those extra features later. So, first up, we have the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. I used to have the green version of the Million Dollar Man. I sold that with IRS, and uh, he's got a little hair on him or something like that. <laughs> um, this one uh, used, I think it was like 10 bucks or something like that. Pretty good deal. The one that is not with the suit. There's a, there's a black suit. I think this was Series 1. And then I think it came out with a green suit, which is the one I had. And then I think there was a... I'm trying to think. A shirtless? It was like the punching one, like Jake the Snake, which I uh, also have here. Let me look at settings. Can I look at settings while I'm recording or uh, streaming here? I hope it's not on like 2K or anything. Output. It shouldn't be. Yeah, output's at 1080. I don't get it. Yeah, everything's, everything's set fine. I don't know what's wrong with this thing. 15 frames a second. Come on. But yeah, uh, only 10 bucks. So pretty cool. And his action feature just punches. We'll show it off in a minute. And then I got the African Dream Akeem. Got this because um, absolutely funny. <laughs> and uh, his um, manager was Slick, which is my pretty much favorite manager ever because he did Big Boss Man all that stuff. And he was I don't know what happened to managers. I don't know why WWE doesn't do it anymore. But Akeem, pretty cool. It was, it was only like eight bucks. Um, he is a little loose. So to fix his like loose arms, even though he can be doing his dance, you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, his his arm is a little loose. It was you know it was cheap. It was only eight bucks. I think one of his legs is a little loose too. That kind of uh, contributes to a little bit of an imbalancing problem. But um, what you do is for toys, if it's loose, you just inject some uh, super glue, and then while it's setting, within the next thirty seconds, move that joint back and forth, and you can establish some friction, and uh, you can. Uh, get a better uh, figure out of it. So there's Akeem. We'll, we'll show him off in a second. This guy kind of makes me a little bit mad, but I got him cheap. He's only like 14 bucks. He goes for like 30 or 40 or something like that, maybe 35. But um, yeah, he, he's broken. His arm feature or whatever is not, isn't broken. But hold on, I'll hold his arm so you can hear it. He, he, he has a little rattle. So he is, he's busted. It kind of freaking blows. But um, good acting and passion, yes. Oh, thanks, Joe. Um, but yeah, his action feature is a punch, and it's it's working. It's a punch down, I think, or is it a punch up? It's a punch down. But it the figure's in pretty good condition. Looks a little dirty. Let me see here in a second. Here we go. Looks good. I mean, I, I try to get good condition of all these figs, so they're not like you know garbage. I don't want to like pay like the money and get a crappy figure. Oh hey, we have excellent stream. Blah blah. Good. Yay. A hole internet. Okay, so this dude is legit. This is Yoko Zuna. This guy's worth a lot of money. Got him for cheap. Got him for like, um, let's say, uh, a third uh, half price uh, from the UK. And uh, he's in excellent freaking condition. Look at this. Let me see here. Okay. He's in really good condition. Like, these guys go for like $80, $100 in crappy condition. I got one that was in pretty good condition. Freaking monstrous figure. Even cooler in person. To have Yokozuna is actually a Samoan, which is funny because he obviously played a dude that wasn't Samoan. <laughs> he played, uh, I guess, uh, from the Fiji Islands. Even though he, he he was from Japan, it's like they didn't know what to bill him as. I guess it's like a Kofi Kingston thing. But um, yeah. Oh hey, now we're at 30 frames a second. Nope, now we're at 19. Oh man, uh, thanks a lot, MacBook. You totally screwed me here, but that's okay. Yokozuna is pretty cool. Uh, and we got two more of my first favorites, the first two that I got. Got Razor Ramon here. This is the purple jacket variant that's worth actually 
uh, probably double the price of the red and black, the red jacket. Um, I obviously do not have the chain accessory, which kind of sucks, but um, I got him for the price of a red and black uh, jacket, so not bad, not bad uh, uh, deal there. 15 frames a second, awesome, cool. And he's got a little bit of smudges on him, but I mean, it looks pretty good condition-wise. Usually they have a lot of bad uh, paint uh, wear there in the back of the purple. But I should just freaking live streamed on my phone. It would have been better quality than this garbage. <laughs> I'll swore. And then the last one, Jake the Snake Roberts with a repo of the snake. So the snake actually costs more than Jake himself. I got the, uh, Jake from Victoria, Texas for like nine bucks and then the snake was like 15 but uh this is like become one of my favorite figures i always wanted a jake one of the most underrated wrestlers ever and uh yeah there he is pretty cool um he does a punch so we're going to shoddily uh scroll down with the webcam and then show off if i can if i have the freaking okay i might have to just like see if i can move this forward move that up and then move these dudes like here and it's not gonna work don't go like here and it works okay so we're gonna demo the uh the guys i live stream on my phone geo with that uh that carnator the the electronic one at my mom's and um it looked pretty good so i mean shoot skip 12 minutes what All right, Castlevania guy. All right, so we got uh, our action features for the two. Um, we have Daniel Bryan, Shinsuke. Daniel Bryan, I guess, is just a jumper. So you're supposed to, like, hold his arm and then he jumps. It's the, it, whoever designed this is an absolute just fail, fail whale. Like, the ones that the jumpers used to have on the back with a little hinge, it looked ugly, but it worked for the toy because you push it down and then jump but like these they don't jump at all they didn't even work in any of the ringside collectible like demos but I guess King Shasta you just I guess you just boom kind of works it doesn't work as well as uh like the Shawn Michaels and stuffs but not gonna lie that's kind of disappointing no wonder why th this toy line failed they just didn't care like this I don't know, maybe you're just supposed to do it like this, and then just go, because uh, that's what the King Shots is, I suppose, but, uh, reviews for the dudes, don't pay more than, like, 20 bucks, I didn't pay more than $20, so it was okay, um, Rabbit Xenomorph, what? Um, yeah, I would give him a recommend if you don't, you know, uh, pay more than 20 oh no, he's got a little paint defect on the back of him, okay, we, we took it off, it was on the back of his neck, I agree, Giordano, uh, he was um, underrated as heck. It's, yeah, and it's, I love that he is an AEW. He's clean now. He's not, you know, alcoholic, but daddy issues, I guess, sucks. Sometimes it happens to all of us. So we got Akeem, African Dream. Let's go with, I guess, let's go back in order that we came. So uh, Mr. Punches a lot. Oh, just got right in the tummy. Boom, right in the belly. Uh, but yeah, so he punches. Okay. Uh, he does, he's punches, he punches as well, or what the hell does he do? Oh, he just does the little thing, so... I can pick him up, and the waist has a little hinge, so you go like this. Oops, I, I wanted to throw him. Like, yeah, kind of like that, but Andre the Giant type of uh, action feature for him. So, bam. What do I do up? Uh, actually, I might have been Kurt Henning and Yoko Zuno. This is a matchup that would have been pretty sick. I don't think it was a real thing, but uh, punch down. Ugh. Die, Yoko. I'm Yoko. And then Yoko would be pretty athletic. He would like to do drop kicks and all that crap. But anyway, yeah. It's supposed to be the perfect plex, I guess. Whatever. Um, I forget what the perfect plex was. I think it was just this. Um, just a regular. Here I am playing with toys. <laughs> but uh, what was Yoko? Okay, Yoko's is just like a, uh, an arm down. Let's find out together. Uh, hold on. Boom, I guess it's like that. Oh, shoot. Bam. Come on, bam. Anyways, there you go, he punches him. But don't pay more than like 50 bucks for this guy. He goes for like 80, 100. Don't do that. Get it for cheaper like I did. It's a very good figure, I like him a lot. 
Um, our last two, two favorites. We've been wanting to get Razor Ramon for a while. Razor Ramon right now, new on card, is like 130 bucks or something like that. Crazy. And uh, I remember like, oh man, 20, 2015, he was like 35. Now, like, these things are so expensive. But anyways, he does the... I don't know if he's supposed to do a razor's edge or something, but he does a clothesline. And there it is. It, it, spring in the, the midsection is a little loose, but overall okay. And then, of course, I'll take out Damien. And uh, he does the punch, so you just hold on to the shoulder, pull it back, bam. They also do DDT. Oh, man, pretty sick. One day, my kids will play with these. But, uh, yeah, so I want to do one thing before I, I signed off. We have at least a half hour if you want to talk um, about, like, Mattel stuff. I sold off, or I'm in the process of selling off almost all my Mattel things for Jurassic Park. I decided to just give up on them. Uh, yeah, Snake is, is, is garbage. Uh, I will show off what I have left. Um, I have, actually, the tub right here. So what you see, let me get out of the way. Let me move the chair, too. I don't know if you can see. Let me move the mic. Yeah, so like, let me yeah, tilt up a little. So what you see on the shelf is what I pretty much have left. I had like this epiphany where like, if you own something and you want to say like display it like the ring. Well, for the figures, I'm just keeping these for my future son or daughter or whatever. And if they don't like wrestling, then I'm going to keep them because I love them. But this is like the only thing I have besides this tub I'll show you that I don't have on display. So... I want to just have my collection, like, why well, have the stuff you own in tubs? So, like, I went from, like, what, how many did I have in 2018? Like, mm, like 14 or something tubs. Now I only have one with two minis inside of it. So I'm going to show off. So I have the, just the Young Rex. I don't know if you can see up top. Yeah, you can't. Young Rex, the Alien 3, uh, Baby, Chestburster Queen, the Jaws, Funko, the Undertaker, uh, Bull Rex, Loose in Box, Red Rex, Loose in Box, Indo Raptor. Actually, it was Loose in Box. What I did was I took a hair dryer for like two minutes and went back and forth to the tail. I pulled out the tail, put it back in the box. It looks good. Packy Rhinosaurus, 2K13, 2K9, whatever you want to call it, 2011. Uh, and then I have the Raptor uh, Series 1 on card. And then a, a Statue of Mary. <laughs> and then there's the Tron uh, Light Cycle. And I'll show off what I have and my collection left for Mattel, as well as, I don't know if I can show it, if I can try. Um, I have the Spinosaurus Mattel over here, and Alan Grant, Alan Grant Mattel, and then the uh, Amber Collection uh, Brown Raptor, because I like the Brown Raptor, and I wanted one on my desk. But Okay, so I can show off, I think, can I, yeah, I can somehow show this off. So just one tub, bam, of stuff left. So I have just, here's the Jurassic Parks, and I have Jaws, so I just have Tiger Raptor, Jumper, I have the uh, two um, Quints, Ellie, Mattel, uh, Hooper, Funko, and then the bag for Alan, and then Brody, and then the um, uh, Allosaurus 2K13, 2011, um, 2009, whatever. Um, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even, uh, Jordan, I, I wouldn't even, I'll, I'll answer all the questions later, but I wouldn't even buy the neck of stands, those things break too. Okay, so, and then I have, randomly on the side of the tubs, like, capture gear from Kenner. Because I know those aren't usually sold with the um, toys if you rebuy them. So, I kept those. Like, if I want to rebuy the Kenner, which I will. <laughs> but, right now, I don't need them. I just like the ones on box. So, anyway. I have this tub of stuff. I actually have a couple more dinosaurs in here, but... This is just mostly like accessories for Hasbro. So I have like the steel cage, the blue steel cage. So I do have my blue jumper and then a Dilo Kenner. So I have one loose Kenner fig. And then I have like random stuff. So I have like extra ropes and belts. And then I have a dumpster, uh, the casket for the casket for, uh, for these guys and it fits them. And then a ladder. And then, uh, actually, there's two ladders. And then the flag, you know, it's broken for the ring. So, uh, yeah, that's the accessories. And I can show off the Mattel Hasbro wrestling figures. And that's, that's all my collection now. That is it.
So I can show off what dudes I, I have and like and kept and blah blah, and then I can answer the rest of the questions and we can go do whatever, like watch the rest please. So, all right. All right. So this is the rest of them, collection wise. Best there is, best there was, best there ever will be. Bret Hart, big boss man, amazing wrestler. John Cena, one of the greatest of all time. I don't know where to put the. I guess I'll just put them right here because they're all going to be together. AJ Styles, very solid. One of the greatest wrestlers of all time. Andre, the Diet, one of the greatest figures in this collection. Pretty rare. Great dude, Roman Reigns. Um, hardcore legend, Mick Foley, Mankind. Got Sting. How can you not have Sting? Uh, I got Ric Flair. Not a uh, Hasbro, but the Mattel one because it was affordable or whatever. It actually looks pretty good too. I like how the uh, the headlock one looked for the uh, Hasbro. What's up, Bob? Rowdy Roddy Piper, Canada, or I should say Scotland's finest. Got Dean Ambrose, aka okay, John Moxley. Cheap figure, can still buy it. Rather uh, affordable. Uh, I got Kevin Owens. Thought about getting rid of, but I got rid of and sold Sami Zayn. Sorry, Sami. Also, I think I did I sell Triple H. I oh, keep Triple H. I guess we'll find out. Earthquake and Typhoon. Where are you, Typhoon? I know you're in here. I think. Yeah. Here's Typhoon. Had to have Natural Disasters. You gotta have some tag teams. Kurt Angle. My friend Tim loves him. That was a joke. Uh, Hulk Hogan. Biggest star of all time. That is super saturated. Well, I mean, it, he is very um, uh, orange, but. Samoa Joe kind of stinks. He did not have a good run with WWE. Uh, the greatest entertainer of all time from the business, The Rock. And he is what, Black Adam is the is the character name. I don't know. I don't, I don't know much about DC Comics, but uh, uh, Finn Balor, the crappy version, only the version of the retro, but had to have Finn Balor. Uh, the Undertaker, Mattel, and Undertaker Hasbro is behind me, but Undertaker Mattel, no okay K figure. Uh, Honky Tonk Man, no guitar, unfortunately. I do not have any. Oh, you mean the toy championship belts? Uh, yeah, I can do that in a minute, buddy. Uh, Jim the Anvil Neidhart. Uh, got this used at a uh, toy store. Waist is, is rather um, tight, but the left arm, not so much. And I, I don't know what kind of. Yeah, that's definitely saturated. But I don't know what kind of damages he had there in the back. Chris Harachico. I don't know if anyone got that joke. It's from his first book. Uh, Batman trailer is awesome. Um, includes a scarf accessory. I kept him because he is one of the greatest of all time, even though he blocked me on Twitter. Uh, I did talk smack to him about CM Punk being awesome, so maybe he didn't like that or something. Diesel, Big Daddy Cool. If he's not from Detroit, I don't buy that figure. Brock Lesnar, one of my all-time faves. Of course, got to gotta own him. Um, Cena is the best wrestler of all time. Yep, there you go. I, I, I don't doubt... Everyone complained about him, but he was top guy for a reason. He was he was pretty damn good. And now that he's gone, you can see the the absence. And same with Roman though, you can see the absence left. But there are some st uh, still good studs like Drew. Anyway, Goldberg. This is the Oldberg version, the only version of retro. Got the gray beard, not a brown one. But yeah, Suicide Squad's gonna be pretty sweet. Uh, arguably the greatest of all time, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And I would not uh, discredit you if you said that. Shawn Michaels, very weird head sculpt, but it is a Shawn Michaels. It's not the uh, Heartbreak Kid one from Hasbro. Has a pretty cool uh, leg kicking feature. Obviously, very odd face, but you know, it doesn't look like him at all. I do have the accessory for Hacksaw Jim Duggan, but Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Ho! Uh, I have the accessories for the Macho King. Oh, yeah. Randy Savage, one of the greatest of all time. Bam Bam, had to keep Bam Bam. Very athletic, big guy. Rest in peace. Uh, my arm is tired. Sid Justice, Sid, Psycho Sid, Sid Vicious, whoever I want to call him, one of my favorites. Clean figure, the guy cleaned it up really well, I believe, with a magic eraser. And uh, let me save these last two, and I can't pick between which one I want. This guy I bought used from a toy store. Uh, very loose head, Greg the Hammer Valentine, but obviously have to have Greg the Hammer, classic Golden Era wrestler. And I don't know which one of these two I should, I should go with last. Okay, I'm going to go with Iron Sheet Glasses. Kane. Retro, absolutely amazing. Waited my whole life for that big until it came out. I have no idea. It's a crappy head sculpt, Jordana. The H, uh, HBK. Um, 
Well, finally, it looks like um, OBS figured it out. Now we're at 30 frames a second, and we're all excellent. So it only took them, you know, half hour. <laughs> I waited a long time for Retro King, and, you know, Jack Specific had, like, the 6-inch or whatever, 5.5-inch scale. is terrible. I don't know. A lot of people do like it, but, man, it's bad. Um, but, yeah, and then Iron Sheik, of course. I always wanted Iron Sheik when I was growing up as a kid because I was the Hulk Hogan Iron Sheik, uh, 1984 or 1983, 1984. Um... I always wanted an Iron Sheik, and uh, Retro, that finally Mattel did something good, they gave us some Iron Sheik, and it looks awesome, and so that is my last figure, they're all empty, I'll show off the belts, someone had a request, they wanted to see other the belts, then we can talk movies and all that other stuff, but let me put all these guys back, oh man, see this is like, I remember having like all these as a kid, but not like, like this, you know, you had a, you had a few of them, I had to buy like, which one of these, actually, I want to do this right now. Which one of these are my originals, and which one did I actually buy that I did not have as a kid? So, like, literally, Macho, Hacksaw, and of course I did sell some, like IRS. But I did not have Bret Hart. I bought Bret Hart. I bought Jake. I bought Andre. Literally, none of these are my originals. Roddy's mine. Earthquake is mine. Typhoon. Yeah, like I bought. I can. You can. Uh, I guess I can. I had the Bushwhackers too. So, but okay. So let's try to remember here. I have Million Dollar Man. I'd say he. <laughs> Barack is IRS. Say that these two are the Bushwhackers. I think that was. I don't know if I had more or not. But, Literally, these are my originals I had as a kid. Two, four, six, seven. Seven. So, shows how my upbringing was. Plus, I guess, four. Eleven. So, I had at least eleven figures. But, yeah. And then the ring, of course, is important. But, uh, yeah, you want to see the belts. So, I'll show up the belts. Um... Yeah, so I, probably have, I don't have all the belts. I have the Universal Championship. I don't have the WWE new one, the rock uh, ring looking one, like the Universal one that's black. But uh, yeah, so I have just extra important, great to have ring ropes. And then I have a WCW <laughs> Galoob belt because I did have Sting and Arn Anderson. Arn Anderson. I don't know why it sounds like I said Arned. Uh, this is a hardcore jack specific belt. Uh, nothing special, black and white. I apologize for the fan noise. Uh, ECW figure belt. Yeah, ECW. Uh, who made those? Crap. It wasn't. Was it glue? This is a Mattel um, 92 to what 98 championship belt. My favorite, Bret Hart belt essentially this is your universal championship belt i think i got that with kevin owens six inch version kept it this is a 98 to 2000 and what four belt this is uh i got two of these what's the other one uh, yeah i had these with uh believe the cha just championship belts uh um sorry the other championship belts tag teams um Oh, you're awesome, Matt. These are the uh, uh, Heart Foundation belts. And this is a Smoking Skull Stone Cold Defining Moments belt. Kept that. Did not. When I sold my Stone Cold 6 inch, I kept the belts. Obviously, I kept all these belts. Intercontinental Championship, aka Honky Tonk Man's. Uh, I don't know what I got that from. This is another Intercontinental Championship. This is like the Attitude Era style. I'm sorry if these are not coming in focus, but Million Dollar Man's belt from the, uh, the Hasbro Fig. This is the Hasbro Fig Hulk Hogan belt. I think this one came with the ring. We have two left. The European title. I have no idea. That might come with uh, came with Shawn Michaels Mattel six inch or whatever, seven inch. And then the Brock Lesnar. It came with the Brock Lesnar. Uh, is it Universal or Undisputed? Is this anything? It just says WWE Champion. So I think it's the uh, Undisputed Championship. But yeah, those are all the belts. You want to see the belts? So uh, yeah, I can finally. Uh, answer all the rest of the questions but yeah i uh gave up on mattel jurassic park is this enough headroom i believe so gave up on uh, mattel jurassic park um I, I i can't stand the quality anymore the human figures should be just way better and they're just not so 
I uh, sold it all and it feels really freeing. All I have left on that shelf Mattel Jurassic is just the Indoraptor, right? And uh, I used to have the Indominus Rex, but if you go to Target.com, you can see how many freaking uh, complaints there are from from adults, you know, parents and whatever. Obviously, grand, uh, grandparents are complaining about it. One grandparent gave it four stars and said it broke, so I don't know if she knew how to uh, uh, correctly <laughs> review the toy or not, but yeah. Broke on little Timmy, whatever her crank name was. Uh, who's your favorite director other than Spielberg? I, um, I like a lot of them. I don't think I have necessarily one favorite, but yeah, Spielberg's definitely like up there, if not number one. Michael Mann, obviously, my social media handle. Uh, Scorsese, obviously, I've done two of his movies, I believe, for film analysis. Um, David Fincher, obviously. Chris Nolan. Typical white boy stuff, I guess. I'm trying to think who else is pretty dope. Um, I like James Gray now. I liked Ad Astra and I watched Lost uh, City of Z. It was absolutely amazing. But okay, I'm going to try to. Uh, yeah, dude, downsizing is a blessing. Like one detail, that's very good. Yes, yeah, so I got mine down to just one bookcase. And I, of course, I have the books and stuff all over, up and down. I try to, you know, fun shui it. But uh, yeah, it, it feels good. And it feels good to just have. That just one tub and you can fit on your bed and you can put like all within two other little tubs of wrestling figures and it's not like too crazy. I would like a Dusty Rhodes figure. That'd be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, just like all your your stuff that you truly love and I could literally just move into like one room place if I want to, if I really want to downsize. So yeah, it feels pretty good. Yeah, NECA sucks still. Um, yeah, I can't. I don't know where you can see, you can see it, Labyrinth. I would wish I could see it too. I don't think my mom has even seen it. Um, but yeah. Uh, NECA freaking blows, and I guess it still sucks. Uh, were you the person that commented about Randy still going crazy on? Somebody, somebody, uh, I think two different people commented on the NECA video saying that Randy's still going at it with, uh, with fans. It really blows, but it's whatever. Um, did I say hi to Cheap Zillow? Sorry, I, said, I think I said hi to Connor. Um, uh, man, it is hot in here. It's freaking, how hot is this the laptop? It's not too hot. But it is freaking around um okay cool cousin says yup so we can play nhl whenever have you seen ray mysterio unmasked i think everyone has seen ray mysterio unmasked unless that's a documentary <laughs> um no that if that if that's a documentary i've not seen it so yeah the lag is is gone thank god um i don't know what the heck that happened I, oh well at least it's good now uh, you just got done watching Aliens. What a great movie. I also love Alien and Alien 3. Awesome. Awesome. Are they old school? I don't I don't understand the question. Uh, man, this is like super small text. I can barely freaking read this. Um, yeah, Batman is awesome. We already talked about that. Uh, oh, you said hello there because of... Okay, I get, I get, the, I get the joke. Um... Skip 12. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. Yeah, imagine a face hugger impregnating a rabbit. It'd be interesting. Uh, motion tracks would go insane. I, I, I guess so. Yeah, rabbit is quick. You can write that script, Joe. <laughs> uh, speaking of toy lines, Intel start ditching attack packs with Savage Strikes and integrating. Oh, in integrating. That's what you meant. Uh, capture gear replacement on massive biters. Uh, uh, are they? Because that would be great. In 2021. Okay, so that's a year away. But yeah, that'd be great. Um, I don't care. They have to improve the plastic quality for me to actually come back and buy stuff from them. It's just why you're 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 buying a disposable toy. It lasts like a year in a kid's hands if that. Maybe a month. So that stinks. But uh, yeah, I saw Victoria's Cantina's video on her Facebook page. Follow her on Facebook. Yeah, NECA. Her, you know, it, her video wasn't bad. It was it was very uh, uh, you know, calm and host, not not hostile. So it was a good video. Like I went crazy <laughs> on NECA just because. Eh, you know, they, they want to talk shit. Uh, oops, you know, talk uh, smack. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess it's what what people are gonna. You you just I don't know why you would disrespect your own the franchise. Um, rights you own and then i actually just saw a target 
the uh, the alien resurrection xenomorphs. And I was like, well, that's funny, but uh, yeah, that, that's that's great. That you know that dude is just still doing his thing, and, and no one really cares enough, I guess. I as long as they're making money using that cheap uh, uh, plastic for their, their toys. And a lot of collectors, they don't care because they don't unbox it. They just keep it in the box because it looks cool. But, yeah, I'm beating a dead horse, I believe. Uh, your favorite, what makes your favorite director, I guess, uh, style different from other... What's this? Uh, do you have a favorite director, and what makes him or her style different from directors like Scorsese Tarantino? I guess I like Michael Mann because he, he, he does... Uh, good-looking frames, aesthetically pleases, uh, pleasing to your eye. You know, he does sometimes uh, choose uh, uh, style over uh, uh, function, I guess, uh, form or over function. And um, but his stories overall are pretty good. And I guess they speak to me as a man. I guess that's why it's Michael Mann, man. But yeah, but Spielberg, you know, Spielberg has a very um, grand imagination and the stories he tell mostly appeal to kids and everyone but mostly to kids now at least but obviously jaws not so much but you watch it when i, I watched it when i was a kid freaking movie rocks but um your neck got alien warrior legs haven't broken off yet for five years oh cool cool um that's good um sup boys shut off the belts for your matt l um rigid head ones the alien resurrection xenomorph legs are awful. Well, there we are. Um, yeah, James Gunn, Suicide Squad 2, going to be pretty cool. Uh, you know, it's going to be fun, better than anything from the last film. Probably. They tried to have the uh, first Suicide Squad film, but they kind of, the studio heads, you know, middle with the, uh, the production or the pre-production, whatever, and didn't let David Ayers do his thing, so... Your favorite D what is your favorite DCEU movie as of right now? Mine's Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman's a good choice. Um, I would probably still go with Batman v Superman. Unless the new Justice League comes out, and I really like that. I'll probably choose that one. But Batman v Superman, probably still. The Shazam. Shazam's considered it, right? Shazam was great. Uh, and Aquaman was pretty good, too. So Shazam would probably... And Wonder Woman was pretty good. Maybe Wonder Woman 2 and then Shazam 3 and Aquaman 4. But yeah. Remember when Randy Falk saw you because like the other three was scumbag? <laughs> I want to call him a scumbag. I don't want to call people names. I want to try to be a good Christian person, but uh, yeah, I, I don't. And I don't get that um, that mo that logic as a as a director of creative of the company you own the rights to, you make the figures of. But underwater Star Wars, you know what? That yeah, it kind of was. Even though Star Wars was underwater in Episode One, but yeah, I was happy with it as well, Giordano. Uh, honestly, only. I'm gonna be honest. The only Mattel figures I would keep are Legacy Line. Everything else is dog. Eep. I'm already dreading. Yeah. So hey, there you go, Giordano. We're in the same area. Mo Monastery in Tibet. Oh, what's this front face? Where's the movie? Oh, you already saw. Already answered that. Yeah. No idea, buddy. Yeah, trailer. The trailer was good. It is a good movie. Not saying just because I'm in it. Actually, it's a really. It has a lot of heart, and it is funny too. But yeah, I wish I could see it, but can't. <laughs> um. Uh, I like Aquaman, I like Wonder Woman a lot more, but Black Manta felt underdeveloped to me, you yeah. know. Have you got any hands in the Nedry figure? I'm assuming you mean the... There's two of them, I think, right now? There's the, the, the three and three quarter inch version, and then there's the, uh, the six inch version. I heard good things about the six inch, the, the Lapisaurus, my friend Sam, uh, Raptor Queen. Said it was pretty good, and it does look good. I mean, that's why I own the six inch. I don't know if I can actually come out and show it. This is the pose I have it on. So, you know, when you have it online, it looks it doesn't look that great. You know, you notice the beads on the neck. I'm gonna carefully bring her out. Okay, you notice like the beads on the neck. You're like, ew, I'm gonna. I have her in the um, strike pose. Uh, but you know, this raptor does mean a lot to me personally, so that's why I, w I went out and bought one. And the uh, I think it's called. Isla Nubar Escape Pack or something crap like that, but had two brown raptors, and then an Elliot extra because they produced too much, and then the exclusive Hammond, and then a banner. I think that was it. So two brown raptors, Ellie Hammond, and a banner for I think it was at least thirty bucks. It might have been thirty. It wasn't for it. It was thirty. But anyway, I bought that, and I was gonna unbox it here and talk about it, but I took it back to the store because I just didn't like it, and so I ordered from GameStop. Ordered two of these. Took one back to the store because you get free shipping. Uh. 
if you buy uh, you know more than thirty dollars worth of stuff or whatever. But yeah, I unboxed it. it. Looks great as a rubber tail. I would recommend this, even though I do not obviously like the six inch stuff. I do not want them to continue making six inch stuff. Buy what you like, and so I like the brown raptor. I want the brown raptor on my desk. I'm gonna buy the brown raptor. And yes, when you thought uh, you saw the uh, images on the internet of it looking like pee, you might look like pee right now. But it, it it does look like amber, like the you know mosquito trapped amber. It doesn't look like pee at all in person. It looks like it, I think the texturing helps. Um, it looks good in person. So it's on my desk. It looks great, and I would give this a recommend. It's like twenty six bucks or whatever. But um, yeah, I as a whole still. Full heartedly, I do not support six inch dinosaur figures because you cannot really get vehicles or play sets with them. You just get dinosaurs and humans, which is stupid, especially big theropods, uh, ceratopsians, etc. But uh, I, I just wanted this because it's, it means a lot to me. So buy stuff you like and it looks good. Obviously not scale with the Spinosaurus and little Alan Grant right here, but I don't, I don't care anymore. Scales for the kids. Scale wasn't for me. So, but yeah. I heard the Ned G figure looks good. Sorry, that was a long answer. <laughs> but I, I, I guess I can show off the Raptor. But uh, then uh, it's funny. So someone just said, uh, Bob asked about the Ned G figure. That, and Geo says, the, the Ned G figure is a joke. <laughs> That's great. Um, yeah, oh, oops, I scrolled too fast and I missed something. Um, my take on the Hardy Boys. I uh, love them. Uh, old, old school. That's from like back when I was a kid. They debuted. Yeah, Jeff Hardy's pretty underrated. Uh, Matt seems like a good dude, so I wish them all the best, you know. I, I totally messed up. Okay, here we are, Nedry. So let me scroll back down. I think I already told him, no, Matt, you're awesome. Meme from uh, Keanu Reeves. Uh, downside, okay, on turn six. NECA's distribution is trash. Uh, not like I collect the figures. It's not for me, yeah. Um, <laughs> Randy Falk, yep. At best, their accessories and mini vehicles where I get. Yeah, I, I was going to buy their um, their vehicle from Blade Runner 2049, the, the cop car. But I think I saw that they had taped on like stickers for the windows. And I was like, no thanks. Even like freaking dollar store and not even dollar store just 50 cent or dollar hot wheels have plastic uh window shields so yeah i, I don't know i can't believe they made a freaking um blade runner art book for 2040 blade run 2049 so i don't get it randy's no different nowadays want want my look at yeah i'm working on a new cinema series um i'm going to visit my mom tomorrow so um yeah, I get to do like a mini vacation there, but I'll probably be working on Alien Covenant fan cut then. Um, yeah, probably in week, a week, one week. So, yeah, Takita Watiti, I believe that's how you pronounce his name, directing new Star Wars movies. Heck yeah, that guy's freaking awesome. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, Sarkosuchus is best figure so far. Yeah, I think I saw that one. Let me look up. I think I saw that one um, at the store. I wasn't a fan. Oh, no, no, no. That's the crocodile. Okay. Yeah, that was okay. I, I was thinking of a Sukumimus or something. Yeah, that one looks pretty cool. It's a big toy for 20, uh, 20 bucks. I think it was like 25 or something at Target. Something ridiculously high price. But yeah, it looks okay. It's not in a Jurassic Park film, so I didn't buy it. So I'm downsizing my tail stuff anyway. But yeah, that does look pretty cool. Once I had a drive, Ray Mysterio, Jack Evans, and Conan around Montreal for two hours. They were trying to find stores open and sold crispers. Nice. Conan. Yeah, Conan seems pretty chill. Um, yeah. Honestly, it's all invested in Conan and Conan uh, because they care. Yeah. One of the most funniest snowing moments of your life. Nice. I slipped. What do you mean you slipped? What happened? Oh, that. Yeah. Uh, face hugger can bring a dog. You know, we're going dogs. Yeah, you know, rabbit. Yeah, it's possible. I should do a Simmons series on Simmons Private Ryan. Um, yeah, that one's not on the that one's on the schedule. I don't know if a war film is on the schedule or not, but I don't think it's. Um, oh, I, I scrolled too fast. I don't think that's on the, the agenda. Uh, I missed. I missed. I missed. Their new Rex. Yeah, so the epic roaring T Rex was gonna buy it. Did not like the the uh, button you held it down and then it uh, it shook I, I think it just shook the webcam 
It, it, here, I'm going to take my arm off the desk. It shook the Rex as it roared. That's just stupid. I feel like you should just, as a kid, if you want to, sh to sh you know, have the Rex roar when it shakes, the kid can do it himself. <laughs> so, uh, that's dumb. And, uh, yeah, so, in person, though, it wasn't too bad. The sculpt looks good, obviously, but I uh, went to the store. There's like, five of them, and, like, two of them were broken. So, I was like, nope, they didn't fix anything. So, skip city. I mean, that should be a thing. I should put on a t-shirt. But, uh, yeah, if I was still reviewing the toys, I would say skip city at the end of it. Or the uh, um, wasted seal of, of approval or disapproval. Michael Mann's great character studies. Yes, that's why I did two of them. You have high hopes for Jurassic World Dominion. Uh, all right, all right, good, good luck. Uh, Alien Three or Jurassic Part Two? You mean the Lost World? Um, that's a tough one. I like both, so I'm gonna go with a tie. I can't pick between both of those. Those are great movies. Love Lost World. Love Alien Three. Hicks and Ripley, some of the greatest characters in movie history. <laughs> Batman v Superman. Love the fake egg. What? Fake egg. No idea what that comment is. Uh, Lost World Superior, JB3 Inferior, yeah. Love the Batman. Uh, NECA Godzilla 2014. 24 inch figure is a good figure, it doesn't break as far as I know. That's good. What's your favorite Jeff Goldblum movie other than Jurassic Park? Ooh, that's a good question. I don't know. Independence Day, maybe? Let me look up his filmography. Um, the Hotel Artemis wasn't too bad, but yeah, it's definitely not, um, The Fly. Ugh. Um, let me look. What do we got here? Hotel Artemis was okay. He wasn't a big... Oh, duh, Thor, Thor Ragnarok, but he wasn't... I don't know if you're looking for a lead film. Or what? Um, I think I haven't seen, like, a lot. I think I'm like, has he ever done, like, a huge lead besides The Fly? I don't know as so much. I guess the cats and dogs, there you go. Hmm, he's been a lot of stuff. Uh, I guess he was the he was probably like co-star because Will would have been lead for Independence Day. But I guess just movie in general. I loved him in Thor Ragnarok. That was probably my favorite one. And then Independence Day would probably be number two. Uh, yeah, Annie Hall. I haven't seen. He was not even a big thing in Annie Hall. I think I did see that. Let me look. I did not. It's a Woody Allen film. That's why. I don't care for what he owned. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, yeah. So it's officially confirmed they're continuing the Amber collection for humans and dinosaurs. Yeah, kind of expected it. Oh, snap, we have five minutes. Only have a couple more questions. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I knew they were going to continue it. I think they're, uh, I'm not going to show the leaked list, but I can talk about it. I think there's a character from Dominion that was shown. I think it's a six-inch figure. Obviously, hasn't, uh, hasn't come out yet or isn't out yet. Um... I, I don't know. If people keep buying them and people don't buy these, they're just going to stop making these. I mean, if the demand is there and these cost money and these aren't selling, if, you know, Target's um, clearancing them because they're not, you know, just shelf warming. I told you they had to put locking vehicles and <laughs> locking mechanisms on vehicle doors. Put them in like this. You can see it. Put them in the, the, the showcase packs or showdown, they're called, from 2K13. Put the humans in there. They would sell. Ah, nobody listens. But, uh, yeah. I'm glad that you are making screenplays in isolation. You should totally make a Chaos Effect uh, Geo movie. And it's great is you can write that. And then you can just make it with the little toys. Use the Chaos Effect films or films, um, figures from uh, Kenner. And then um, you can just use a bunch of fake plants and stuff. And, and you can film it inside. Just get, like, a decent area. So, but, uh... Yeah, the epic roaring Rex gave you flashbacks to the Hasbro and Dominus Hybrid. I even joked about it on Instagram. Yeah, I'm not on Instagram. I didn't see that. Sorry. I delete off my app, that off. Yeah, delete that app off my phone. Um, yeah, I don't know the Hasbro and Dominus Hybrid toy. That thing's worth a lot of money for some reason. But um, I don't think it's that bad. That one's pretty bad. Like you popped open. What did it do? It popped at the side of it. Popped open like a. Uh, an array like of, of spines like red spines or something and then like the absolute worst was i think you just cranked the arm down like a like a freaking clock 
and then it goes, and it would just open its mouth closed until it went, and then you could feel it just, and then like the little timer, it was done with using the uh, automatic jaw opening and closing action feature. That was so stupid. I don't know who did that. So dumb. I don't think, I don't think that's, I think that Epic Rex is far better than that garbage, but yeah. Honestly, the Epic Rex had some decent plastic in it. That wouldn't be a bad buy at all. So, who would win 100 Xenomorphs or, five, or, one, or one five T Rexes? I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. Maybe you mean 15 T Rexes? I have no idea. But, uh, fire truck, yes. Ball, oh, the ball spot. Um, have I seen Hunt for the Wilder People? Yeah. Jeff Goldblum wasn't in that, though. But yeah, that movie's great. I saw that actually at a, um, like a press screening, essentially. It was an independent theater in Akron. And uh, that was pretty fun. But yeah. Um, I don't think that's what put uh, what TD on the map. I think it was the movie before that. It was uh, What We Do in the Shadows, I think that's what it was called. It was a like a vampire satire comedy film. It was like made in 2011 or something like that. I think, uh, when was that film... Wilder People out in 2017? 2016? 2016, I want to say if I had put money on it. I think 2016 they came out in. So yeah, there's What We Do in the Shadows. And then, I think after that, he finished Wilder People. Wilder People didn't come out yet. I think then they signed him to Thor. Like, Disney signed him to Thor. And so, like, the news came for Thor. And then I think Wilder People came out. And then, of course, he was making Thor. And then Thor came out in 2017. So... Amazing film. Yep, one minute to go. You would love to see an Amber Collection pack yourself. That would actually be pretty cool. Um, all right, two more. Uh, who would win? 20 Terminators or entire tribe of Predators? Uh, probably the Predators. Nah, I don't know. I'll go with Terminators. All right, so favorite Marvel movie. Oof. We'll go with both Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Guardians of the Galaxy 1's up there. Endgame is up there. Uh, actually, Thor Ragnarok's probably number three. But uh, all right, thank God the stream, uh, at least half of it, is smooth. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, yeah, and then that—that that is the collection. That is it for all of the uh, wrestling figures, and that is possibly the last, unless I have a kid in like ten years or something like that, uh, or five years, or whenever I have kids. <laughs> um, yeah, unless I have kids and they come out with um up oh, doggy uh new figures then uh yeah won't uh won't do this ever again but we can still do live streams just uh no more wwe unboxing lines but uh, take care godspeed see you guys later